and welcome back to another Tales of Tribute game. Uh, we're going second this time, unfortunately, and opponent. Not quite sure why he's picking first, but uh, yeah, we're almost certainly going to play Alessia this game, and uh, let's see where we go from there. Um, so yeah, opponent's taking his time. Uh, going the Reach Man first, so yeah, that's fine. Let's try Alessia and let's try Druid King today. I tend not to pick the Pelin, Lalu, Crows, or Kellarus because those are the starter decks. Uh, I think the, the other decks are a, a bit more interesting and you know sometimes your opponents tend to pick the starter decks too so yeah let's see how it goes. Anyway, Crow, Crows first uh, and our opponent gets the first pick and he gets to pick Murder of Crows probably. With Reach in the game that is always something that is very very scary and something that no one ever really wants to deal with but yeah for our opponent gets the first pick and it goes Crows so very very scary for me. Um, we got 5 power. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think our deck is that great. I don't think there's many good things in the tavern right now. Now, I was checking my opponent's uh, hand because I'm quite sure he does not have the power to kill our Karth Manhunter uh, in the coming turn. So I'm considering picking that, either using that or using the St. Alessia power, or maybe picking up a Priestess of the Eight. Uh, none of these. I think the most economy, economical one is the Alessia power. But I think I could, I'm able to get a little bit of value from Karth Manhunter because I know my opponent will not be able to kill it this turn. So I, I pick it up and I know I'm drawing my um, Reach card this turn so I can use it to comp. I can use it to start comboing off basically and try to um, try to thin my deck a little. Um, made a mistake here because I should not have... I should have at least spent a gold first but at the same time I have been relatively unimpressed with St. Alessia Agent. So I think it's, it's, it is reasonable to... Um, to uh, kill them, to, to kill them early. It, it, it's it, it, very often they're just something that you never ever want to draw. And I use my extra power to kill his guy. So right now our economy is unfortunately not the greatest. We have zero things. We have like one thing that produces two gold in our deck right now. The one thing being um, the uh, Alessia power that we just shuffled in. Uh, my opponent was unable to kill the Karth Mantor Hunter this turn, so I get one more go with it. I get to shuffle, make my deck a little bit smaller, so minus two, that's fine with me. Uh, still still at uh, four gold, so I either have can Alessia or I can use my reach power to get one more gold to pick up a um, one of the five cost cards. Uh, my opponent was unlucky so far, like he hasn't got his crow combo, so my Karth Mantor Hunter is still alive and he doesn't really have a way to kill it. Uh, here, I think, I think, um, I think he might have destroyed his uh, reach card because it doesn't generate the, uh, it doesn't generate power. It's only, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, it doesn't generate gold. I mean, it only generates a bit of power, which is not economical. Um, and that is fine, except sometimes you're facing agents down, and you do need that little bit of power to start knocking them out. And I do have a soldier of the empire on the field too, which if my opponent can't deal with that, that's going to be quite annoying. This is not an easy pick. Um, I am not sure which is. I am still not sure which is the best pick. The right caller is very strong and can produce enormous amounts of gold if you get the combo going. Uh, the uh, envoy is fine. Priestess of Eight also good for donating cards away. And you know I'm gonna try make my deck as small as possible, and then we can try pick up the good cards. So let's try let's try Priestess first and see where we go from there. My opponent does pick up power, does manage to kill my guy, and he also gets unfortunately the card I wanted to do get the Briar, the Briar Heart Ritual. So now he's gonna go super strong, crow, super scary, maximum crow power right now. Uh, we fortunately draw our Chainbreaker Sergeant, which is just enough gold to pick up our own Elder Witch, which we don't want our opponent to get, and it creates another roadblock for my opponent to go through. Um, he does have uh, Mori House, which can kill any one of my agents. Probably gonna kill the Elder Witch with it, which is a shame. Uh, Mori House definitely showing his, showing his value there. Uh, and with 6 gold, he can pick up anything, but he sort of wanted to pick up crow cards. I'm not sure Chainbreaker Sergeant is the greatest card ever. I mean, it, I mean, it's 3 gold, but if you're trying to make your deck as small as possible and build crows, it may not be quite what you want. Now, he does kill my Priestess of the Eight, but he still is having quite a bit of trouble dealing with agents. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit more value out of my Priestess. I don't really want Warsong because... Uh, was that correct, actually? Maybe I should have got Warsong, picked Warsong up. Because um, it really depends on where I want to go from here. Uh, I do I do not want to keep his Mori House alive, so even having that one power to kill Mori House would have been useful. But anyway, yeah. So we gotta do that with Chainbreaker Sergeant and pick up Envoy. 
Uh, Envoy, it's another annoying roadblock. My opponent is having trouble dealing with agents. He only has one thing that kills agents right now, which is the Mori House. So uh, I think picking up more agents is fine. I say that, and he, you know, he gets another crows combo because I mean, the more the more he plays, the more things he plays, the uh, the more he draws his deck, and the more he thins his deck out, the more crows he's gonna get. Now, so far, he's been, or rather, maybe he or we have been both unlucky. There have been no crows showing up whatsoever, which is great. I am more than happy to see that. The tavern is showing us a lot of other cards. He picks up the uh, Saint's Wrath, which is good against agents, which is perfectly reasonable since I do have a number of agents in my deck. And he picks up, you know. Uh, the crow, um, the right of whatever it's called, and that draws him card, but doesn't really bring me him or me forward. We don't need that because he doesn't have any, any agents on the battlefield. So let's just try Envoy, get a combo with Envoy off because we got a Soldier of the Empire as well. And um, yeah, we are going pretty strongly into agents, and none of these other cards are good. We can either use Alessia, but let, let's let's try Right Caller and see how that works out. We are ahead of power compared to our. Uh, we are ahead in prestige compared to our opponent because uh, his deck so far. Not exactly prestige generating at the start. Now he is going to start generating some prestige now because he hasn't picked up a couple of Alessia, a couple of. Uh, he still has that one crow combo in his deck, so that's where he goes from there. Uses Black Sacrament to um, kill my, uh, my agent and then just Chainbreakers. Chainbreakers uh, Captain kills my other agent. Uh, and the tavern is pretty horrific right now. There is nothing good to pick up. Uh, however, for us, we can try and see how good our right caller does. Um, it only is 5 power right now, so maybe not the best. We do get one combo off. Uh, right caller. Uh oh, we don't want to see that. Get rid of that. That is pretty scary. No crows. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, opponent's probably going to use this. I mean, opponent has a couple of agent killing cards, so we're not going to get like amazing right callers. Definitely not. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mori Horse. That's such a good card against agents. I should I should turn, learn to value it more highly in uh, agent games, which uh, Druid King likes to go agents. Alessia likes to go agents, uh, and uh, yeah, it's very very common to see those things. Druid King Vestments is pretty good uh, because it lets you whenever you buy things or toss things away, uh, you generate you can you can generate quite a lot of power. Uh, opponent picks up the crow immediately, so he does have one crow combo going at least. We do pick up our pieces of eight, which lets us shuffle things away. The question is, um, do we want to? Buy something first before shuffling things away, and the answer is no. Keep a war song in because that is going to help us kill our opponent's agents. And yeah, we got an envoy up, which is I'm more than happy to pick up. Uh, I think that is quite reasonable. Generate a bit more power. Instead of four gold, the real question is what to spend it on. Uh, drinking investment is actually quite good, but uh, this time we spend it on a chainbreaker sergeant. Chainbreaker sergeant is like very. This is very like variable card. Sometimes the crow, sometimes the library shows great cards, and you just don't want to use Alessia. And sometimes the library shows really bad cards, and it's definitely quite skill testing to figure out what is the best. Now my opponent couldn't kill my agent, so he uses the crow power. Um, I guess that's fine. I mean, he misses out picking up the murder of crows, but I guess he just cannot let all my agents stay alive this turn because that's just going to generate way too much value. Now, that being said, wait a minute. Why did he? That's probably a mistake. If he had a Saint's Wrath in his hand the whole time, he should have just used it. Instead, he didn't. Yeah, that, that, that definitely was probably not what my opponent intended to do. Saint's Wrath would have just killed all my agents immediately. He probably wanted to pick up his uh, Crow. The Crow. It creates his Crow power. Um, this is great. Uh, we've drawn a Wizard Hold plus the Right Caller. That is going to start building us enormous power bank. Um, this and we shuffle away the crows because we're not going crows. We're not really going crows at all. And um, uh, another crow, not really what we want our opponent to pick up. So let's get rid of that. Uh, and yeah, bright heart ritual. Great. Let's make our deck even smaller. So our deck is pretty small. Um, and can we beat our opponent though? Is the question because he has a couple of crows in his deck, but I don't think he has quite enough crows. Anymore. Using the um, Reach power. I'm not so sure about that because this may this may come down to the wire, but fair enough. And yeah, um, vestments is actually quite a reasonable card. It can generate a lot of power. It's basically the forest wraith, but it's a one-use forest wraith. And I mean, everyone knows forest wraith is very very good. It's one of the best drinking cards. So it's it's definitely very interesting. Now, I have a great board right now. My opponent kills one of them. He kills a forest wraith, which is the most important one to kill. Uh, but we are going to generate 
a lot of gold next turn and with a lot of gold I think what we can go for at this stage is um, the crow power because crow power turns gold into power uh, and uh, my opponent really needs to be able to stop me from uh, I mean double wish heart totem plus yeah this is a, this is a huge you have a huge turn coming ahead of this and uh, I'm not sure my opponent has what, quite what it takes to finish us off at this point. Now he reviews a lot of crow cards but I think at this stage it may be a little bit too late because we have the Fable Combo 4 and Wispark Totem. Let's play our Envoy first to get the most value out of it. Wispark Totem, Wispark Totem, just play all our cards. Yeah this is gonna get really nasty and my opponent, uh, I, think he, I think he sees the writing on the wall and uh, calls it a game. So yeah, very interesting game. I wasn't sure I was going to win it at the start. I was panicking a lot because of my opponent picking up crows early and making his deck a bit smaller, but the crows didn't really show up um, later on in the game, and we managed to, I think, sneak out a win with uh, Druid King in that way. So yeah, very interesting game.